welcome to Murder the Monster Monday. I know it's been quite some time since I've actually made a video, but I'm back and there's something that I want to share with you all and something that I think that would really help everyone. What I want to talk about today is mindfulness. We are all so absorbed in either our phones and getting that email that we've been looking forward to, making sure that we buy that thing on Amazon, and you're lost in the eternal abyss that is Facebook. So then you're like, oh well, I've been on Facebook for too long. I should probably get off. Later, you're on checking your Instagram, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and then you're just there forever. <laughs> or you're Snapchatting someone, you're like, oh hey, like, hey. Oh, that's such a cute little filter. And then it changes your voice, so then you're sitting there going, I like to go to the store. And then it makes it sound so much more hilarious because you've got that really high-pitched squeaky filter or the robot filter on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you're just lost in your phone when there could be the opportunity to connect with someone right next to you. You could have a family member sitting next to you, you could have a friend sitting next to you, or maybe you're just waiting in line you could be connecting with someone either in front of you, behind you, maybe the person at the cash register. I mean, are you there, that person that's on your phone? Be like, thanks. I'll have a tall vanilla latte. Oh, okay, here, let me pull up my, my app. You can scan it. Okay. Can you wait for your name to be called? Are you on your phone? Are you looking around, looking to smile at someone, making some kind of connection with anyone? Do you have your head down or are you mindful of your surroundings? One technique that I'm finding that is really, really helpful for myself is something that I learned probably about a month ago. I think it's just called like the five, four, three, two, one exercise. If you're laying down or if you're sitting in a chair or you're standing, try and find a quiet, comfortable space. If you don't have that, it's perfectly fine. You start with five things that you see. Like right now, for me, it would be the windowsill, the trees blowing in the wind, and then it would go on to list five things. Then after the five things that you list, you list four things that you can feel. So right now, I'm sitting in my chair. I can feel my hair on my neck, my jacket on my neck, myself sitting on the chair, my arms on the chair. And those are four things. So then after that, you list three things that you hear. So right now, I can hear an air purifier the wind, a door that just closed, very timely. <laughs> then, with your eyes closed, you think about two things that you can smell. This one is usually harder for me because I feel like usually there's only like maybe one thing that I can smell, and usually it's like my candle going. My candle going. Sometimes I'll be able to smell the grass, the freshness of the air, or sometimes I can smell a barbecue, but I can also smell the coffee that's in my hand. Different things like that, and then, you think about one thing that you can taste. There's still that taste that is your mouth. If you focus on it, it does kind of have its own taste. I find that sometimes when I pay attention to that, I can actually still taste like the thing that I ate like a couple hours ago, which is kind of gross, kind of weird, but it's something. <laughs> the more that I do this exercise, the more I can actually catch myself not being mindful. I'll be like on my phone scrolling through Facebook and be like, oh my gosh, like, how long have I been lost in this abyss? How long have I been here? Has it been hours? Days? Weeks? Just kidding. It's usually only a few minutes. But, at least I'm becoming mindful of that. So then when I catch myself, I do that exercise. I stop, slow down, five things I can see, four things I can feel, three things I can hear, two things I can smell, one thing I can taste. But I'm finding that I'm a little bit more sensitive to what people's emotions are or what they're saying through things, just like ever so slightly. Like every once in a while I'll catch something that I know I wouldn't have caught before I started doing this. And it also just makes me appreciate the moment that is now. Instead of looking forward to or worrying about something that's to come, I have this moment right now. There's no point in worrying for the future. I can just be in this moment right now with my family, with my friends, even just by myself, enjoying the solitude. I'm finding that that is really, really, really helpful for me. And I really think that it could be really helpful for a lot of people, especially people who worry 
or people who find themselves frequently just stuck on their devices because there's nothing to do when really there's a lot to do around you. You can people watch. I know it could be creepy depending on how long you're looking at a particular person, but it can also be really interesting just watching people interact with each other, especially if they're all strangers. If you're in some kind of a coffee shop, you can notice the different types of meetings that are happening. You can see that's probably a business meeting. That's probably a first date. They might be celebrating an anniversary. You know, you can see things like that when you stop and slow down and pay attention to things. It can be such a treat to just notice all of the connections and all of the people around you living their lives. It can make you feel more connected with the people around you, whether or not you are actually speaking directly to them, but it definitely helps to make you feel less isolated. I feel like with the technology that we have today and the connections, the friends, we're not really connecting with anyone. It can be such a beautiful thing resonating with someone. If you're on the same page about something and then that clicks in your conversation, it can be such a joy. But you don't know until you look up. That's the Murder the Monster Monday for today. I hope that that helps you mindfulness. So if you can think about it throughout this week and you catch yourself not being mindful, maybe just stop and take a minute. Think about doing the five things that you can see. You close your eyes, four things you can feel, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing that you can taste. And I hope that that helps you. I hope that you can maybe make a connection this week or maybe like think to look up and see someone and smile. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye.